ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the esteemed Mr. Leonard Ellerby. Thank you, Ray. Um, I'd like to thank the MGM, Premier Boxing Champions, and Amazon Prime. Saturday night. Can't get here fast enough. Two things that kind of stand out to me over the last week or so um, that's been said. One is coming from Frank Martin's promoter, Earl Spence Jr. He says that Tank Davis is going to get dominated for 12 rounds. Dominated? Earl don't believe that dumb shit. <laughs> I can promise you that. And then Frank Martin says, oh, I'm going to beat Tank's ass. Okay, I expect, I expect him to, he's in tremendous shape. We know Derek got him in great shape because Derek's a phenomenal trainer. But let's be real, let's be real. Okay, for starters, in, in 2017, do you know what Tank was doing? Tank became world champion. You know what Frank Martin was doing? He wasn't even professional yet. Okay, so one thing about this boxing shit, you can't skip steps. It's something what we call experience. And you gain that over a period of time by fighting the top fighters and doing your thing. Again, I can't say enough about what I personally think that Frank's a good fighter. But there's a difference between good and being special. This man to my right, he's special. Everything that Frank Martin does good, Tank does better. And come Saturday night, don't blink, because this shit could be over early. World uh, 2012 United States Olympian, ladies and gentlemen, here is Errol the Truth Spencer Jr. I'm happy to be here. This is going to be a. What y'all laughing at? You know, I can't top Lenny at be. He can talk. You know, that's just about all he can do. But come Saturday night, I guarantee you, Frank gonna put on a great show and a great performance. He's ready for this moment. He's been ready for this moment for a long time. And Tank gave him the opportunity. So come Saturday night, I guarantee you he's gonna put on a great show and a great performance and show everybody why he is the best 135 pounder in the world. And the new WA Welterweight Champion of the World. Frank Martin. We're going to give you a Father's Day gift, Daddy Martin, come Saturday night. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the trainer of Gervonta Tank Davis. Here is Mr. Kelvin Ford. Here we go again. How y'all doing over there? Nobody talking about the Hunters fight at the MGM. We're going to see greatness that night. It's about the fight. It ain't about the champion. It's about the fight. That's all I care about, the fight. Come that night, I want people to leave this show, watch this show, and sit there and say to themselves like they came from a karate move, movie, man, I want to fight just like Tank. <laughs> I want to be just like Tank. <laughs> because we're going to put that work in. Dark. We've been friends for years. No, don't stop it. Nah, we've been friends for years, but this clinic, this good. Hey, Martin, you know what I told you? Come with it, please, because I need that button push. I need you to push <laughs> his button because I haven't seen it yet. I know what's under this hood, and they ain't been pushed yet. And everybody on the East Coast know that it's a button. It's a button to be pushed. You know what I'm saying? You can only take him so far. You can only take him so far. Martin, I see you that night, baby. Please push them buttons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Please. Yeah. I got you. I need it. You know why? I'm a person. I'm trying. It's, it's nothing personal with you. You're oh, just yeah. in the way. You squeeze mm -hmm. to the grass. Mm -hmm. You're where you're supposed to be because your Lord lets you be here. But guess what? You're here for a reason. And that's the night we must show the world what Tank Davis really is. Thank you. What's up everybody, man? I appreciate everybody coming out. Hey, I appreciate everybody coming out. 
to support the fight. You know what I mean? June 15th, it's going down. You know what I mean? We here. You know, like I said once before, I appreciate Tank giving me this opportunity to come whoop his ass. Come June 15th, it's on. You know what I mean? He ain't he ain't been in there with nobody like me. I'm coming different. You know, when you say, Kyle, when you say uh, push them buttons, I'm going to push every button that he got on his ass. Every one. You know what I mean? So June 15th, y'all, come out and expect a good fight. You know what I mean? Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, we got Fred. No short. I just want to thank everybody for coming out. You know, uh, the media, uh, uh, the MGM for holding this fight. Uh, my personal team, uh, Al Heyman, you know, uh, Amazon Prime, Leonard, uh, just everybody that played a, a big, a big factor. Uh, <laughs> I guess them too, but. <laughs> Uh, just, you know, come out this Saturday. It's going to be a great fight, a uh, great undercard. Um, don't get no popcorn. Don't get no juice. Don't get nothing. Just make sure y'all locked in because I'm going to be locked in. I've been locked in for, you know, over some time now. So I just want to come out and give a, a, a great performance. That's my give back to, you know, the, uh, the fans and everybody that played a part of this event. So um, i see y'all Saturday night. Thank y'all. You know, what have you guys been saying to one another over the, the past few moments? Uh, when he came up there, he was shaking. He was just shaking a little bit. You know he, what I mean? so, he was shaking. So you, you're seeing him move a little bit? You think he's yeah, a little he bit talking, apprehensive? Talking a little tough yesterday when I ain't come to the, uh, the arrival, but today he's, he's shaking up there talking. So I know that, you know? Frank, how do you want him to respond to that? I'm scared. I'm so scared. You it's going to show. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's yeah, going to show. I'm, I'm scared show. as hell. I know. I'm he a front runner. That's yeah. what he is. Yeah, that's front right. Front runner. That's right. Yeah. Don't worry about it. He'll see Saturday. <laughs> it ain't even hit him yet. I'm telling you. It's going to hit him, though. It ain't going to sure. hit me. It's definitely, especially when I, when hey, I touch good. you. Hey, we definitely, good over definitely here. when I touch you. We good over here. Hey, you going to get touched, too. So what did you if say? If you can. If you can touch me. What about, if you could touch me? Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you bringing yeah. to the table that I, I haven't you gonna, seen? You gonna see Saturday, what? bro? Saturday even night. the little clips on the fucking Saturday. uh on the um uh what is called that we just had the gloves off shit. Mm -hmm. What the fuck was you throwing? Hey, you know what? You know <laughs> exactly. what you've been doing? You've been working. Work. You know what you you've been I, working exactly. your ass off. Right. Let me tell you why. Right. You been working your right. ass off. Right. I ain't really got to right. see too much of you. Right. You've been grinding. Right. Because you right. know what time exactly. it is. Cause you know exactly. what time it is. That's why you've been working your ass off. I work you know hard. I work hard every is. time, though. Right. Okay. Stupid. Okay. They don't know I work hard in the gym right. and I watch them. They, hey, you, you been watching me for about a year. Don't know that. You been watching me about a year. And you people been watching me about a Nigga, year. I haven't been watching you okay. for a year. Okay. All right. All right. You're not good enough for me to watch okay. you for a year. Okay. <laughs> That's why we ain't been seeing you like that. You've been grinding. You've been working and your ass off. And last time you did the media workout, your shit was all cut up around here. We Gucci. Yeah, your shit was all cut up around here. Good. Yeah. We straight. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, you don't, don't worry about, about it. it. Don't yeah. worry about we it. Got, you know. we, got, we got a couple days. We got like three days, bro. Yeah. Three yeah. days, and we, and, and we in yeah. there, motherfucker. We that, in there. Take that uh, sponsored jury off, too. Hey, hey, we in there. <laughs> take that sponsored jury off, too. That's cool. That shit not yours. That's cool. <laughs> Frank, what does Saturday night mean to Frank Martin? For real? I feel like all this, all the, and the me being on the images and all that, you know, it's a blessing to be there. But it ain't hit me, you know what I mean? Like it ain't, it won't hit me until I get the win. You know, like I feel like I, I don't work, so I'm supposed to be there. You know, so it's not like, oh, I'm there, I'm so happy. You know, no, I gotta get this win. And then after that, you know, then I feel like all of it uh, hit me. Like, damn, I, everything I don't work for, you know, is here now. He like, worried about not getting knocked out. It. That's all he worried about. I, I promise you, it. that's all he worried about is not getting knocked out. Yeah. That's all he worried about. Yeah. yeah. He ain't worried about no damn win. Uh-huh. He worried about not getting knocked out. Hey, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Frank. I mean, we just be, we, we just got to, I just got to be who I am. You know, I got to go in there and fight my fight. You know what I mean? Be comfortable. You know what I mean? And, and you he know. Ain't it, had no he got good spawn partners. He got power. Nope. He got he power. He ain't had no but, good spawn partners. You know? It don't matter. His spawn partner was he, ass. He got power, but that ain't, you know. His spawn partner was that. ass. Completely he ass. He take away that power. 
Your spawn partner was completely ass. Everything was. Ass. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. You went and got and the best. Sparred, and you, you sparred you, the you, MMA guy in your hey, last spawn. You went and got some of the stupid. best. Stupid. You went and got some of the best. That's so stupid. You hear me? That's so stupid. You did everything. Everything you feel that you did right, you you did. You even got some of the best sparring. You've been working your ass off about a year. You you on point, brother. Javante, what kind of challenges does Frank Martin bring to the table for you on Saturday night? His Ooh. fake feet movement. That he do the same way. He do the same thing. Yeah. Card it out. Regular. Mediocre. Mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> So when he it said, comes, yeah, G, mediocre. I'm going to start with Frank, and then I'll go over to you, Gervonta, because there are two sides to the story. But, Frank, can you go ahead and, and describe what happened during that sparring session? He came in, playing, thinking shit was sweet, got clipped, grabbed. You, that's another thing. You never shoot. clipped me. What are you Bro, talking about? What I didn't clip you? you? No, you did not. You caught me with a good shot. That's it. That happened in boxing. You so, never clipped me. I never shook none of that. So you didn't shake. What are you shake. talking about? You shook the shake. fucking room. You, 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 like, you, 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 you don't even hit that hard. You don't even hit that hard, bro. You don't even hit that hard. You don't even hit that hard. You don't even hit that hard. I hit you with the left. You don't even hit that hard, What did you do? And you're going to split. I can see all the What did you do? I'm going to split them open. I promise you. I promise you. Yeah, you got it. I promise you. What did you do? Why you so mad? I'm going to break you up. I'm telling you. Every time I tell y'all something. You know what happened. Don't don't it happen? You know I'm happen. telling you, I'm gonna break you up. Y'all want to know I promise shit. you, I'm gonna break you up. Y'all want to know I something? I promise. Look, look at all that. Y'all got. Y'all got. Y'all got. Pussy, nigga. You pussy. All right. You pussy. You show me Saturday. You show me Saturday. Pussy. I'm pussy. You know, show me Saturday. That fake, that fake hard shit. What the fuck is you talking oh, about? Oh, you seen him trying to foul his face. Show me Saturday. Javante, do you want to? What, what was your interpretation of the, of the sparring that you had? He said he clipped you. He ain't clip shit. He don't even got that much power to clip so, nothing. What are you talking about? <laughs> Bum ass nigga. Yeah, I, my bad. I'm. Javante, where do you feel? Has he gotten under your skin, or is it just? I mean, it is I mean, when he when he fake that when he fake tough. Uh, I love me. Fake tough. <laughs> that, right. that be you doing Chill all that out, fake man. ass tough. Chill out. Stuff Chill tough out. acting. Chill out. Fuck is you talking Chill about? Out. I was up yeah. here blasting gotta, shit till you start gotta, frowning your look, face look. up. I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta fake this like you said that lame shit. Oh, you from the suburbs? I ain't from no yeah, damn you're suburbs. Yeah, from the fucking clown. suburbs, nigga. You clown. When you was fucking seven. You sound, you sound or, like or fucking eight bozo. Or some shit like that. Talking about I'm from the. You don't talk. Look how you talking. You sound like a bozo. Clown. Hey, come on, bro. Derek. Errol, for you, thank you very much, Derek. Uh, for you, what you were the promoter of Frank Martin. You've been involved in some blockbuster championship events Shut up, at, on pay-per-view. But what have you been telling Frank in regards to preparing for this moment, fighting here in Las Vegas, being the main event? He don't like none of me getting a check. <laughs> Nigga, shut your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> you talk way too much, bro. <laughs> you talk way too much. Yeah. You back it up with who? Who you back it up with? What's your fighter? It could be either one. It don't matter to me. Yeah, you hear it. But you don't fight nobody, bro. Okay. 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 You don't fight nobody. You here for a check, brother. You fight for? You here for a check. You here for Nigga, a check. You here for a check. Y'all two here for a check. Yeah, you got me fucked up. <laughs> so you, Errol, heard, you here for a check. Errol, what have you been telling Frank in preparation for this fight week? Just stay focused, stay hungry, stay dedicated. And it's all about the grind. That's what he's been doing. That's how he get to this point. Because he's been focused, he's been hungry. And he's been, he listened to his game plan. He's been in the gym working, staying focused, listening to the game plan, going over his instructions. And I believe that he's going to come How you know that? How do you night. know that? How you know that? Nigga, How you know that? Because y'all don't be in the same place at the same time. Nigga, I know all his spawn partners, nigga, and I talk to him. So what you mean? <laughs> you what know they ass that. Like, and you know it too, because you, you, know you are one of his spawn partners on Instagram. Like a little girl. You said what? You argue with one of his spawn partners on Instagram yeah, like a little girl. I follow girl. him too. I follow him too. And that nigga is, I'm, I keep saying, <laughs> my bad. He is ass. <laughs> he is ass. I know all his spawn partners. Mm -hmm. What you gotta say about that? Yeah, you know all of them. Cause you you search and you look for everybody. It really you don't search matter. and look for everybody. It don't matter. Calvin, for you. And you know you scared. Yeah. This 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 camp been totally different. 
When I first caught back up Tank, it was Ramadan. He looked at mentally different, humble, but hungry. When everybody seen him in the team, they was worrying about him. Because how his, was fast. When he take off his clothes and look at him now, he remind me when he was the little Tank that I first got with. We ain't worried about we ain't worried about none of that. We 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 train, we ready for whatever he got the whatever he got to bring. We got him, we got him. Got his got his number for show. When assuming things go according to plan, Let let's see. sit down, show gentlemen. Me. Show me. What? No, I have. Show me, Frank. What I can do? Show me what I can do. Well, well, let me ask him. Let me ask him. Let me ask him. Let me let me, let me ask him. Javante, you're saying that there are things that he can't do. He, uh, Frank is saying, show me, but can you describe to us things that Frank can't do? You're mentioning, you're, you're talking with him. I mean, you don't have to give away the game plan. Oh, you're just getting the microphone. There ain't really too much he can do. He says there's really not too much he can do. How is the fight going to go down? Your prediction, sir? It can go however he wanted to go down, you know? Um, if, he, if he act up, like I've been saying, y'all going to see Javante Davis get, get knocked out. Oh, you're see saying him. a knockout. If, if he come in and he act up, y'all going to see him get knocked out. Period. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what power, this and that. They, if they say I ain't got it, he come in and act crazy. He going to sleep. And that's, he going to sleep. Frank Martin predicting a knockout over the champion, Gervonta Tank Davis. Gervonta, 29-0, 27 knockouts. Saturday night, June 15th, PBC pay-per-view on Prime Video, the 100th championship fight night at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. How is the fight going to go down, Tank? Ass whooping. Time. Ass whooping. Time. 